ain't never seen <laughs> somebody catch so many fades in a little ass area such as a damn bus like summer. Girl, you was catching fades left and right, right and left when you should have been catching a fade with a cough drop, bitch, because you need to clear your throat. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this mess. Let's watch some crazy stuff, yo. What's good, y'all? It's your girl, Lex Too Real, and we are back up in this thing with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Baddies Midwest, episode three. Finally, we're getting somewhere because them first two episodes had me feeling like it was Lifetime, uh, a Lifetime movie network. Um, it, it was just too much, okay? It was too much. But now, we getting our money's worth, okay? These bitches was throwing down. I mean, throwing down. I said, yes. This is what I pay my $7 for. So, in the beginning of the episode, Diamond the Body and Roly are still fighting. I mean, <laughs> did y'all see security push Jayla out the way? Child, she fell over, tumbled, tumbled like a tumbleweed. Just fell over. I said, damn, security? Security? Pushing people out the way. I kind of liked it, though. Push her ass. Push her. Push her out the way. Now, when Diamond said, there's no space, there's no space to keep fighting, Rolly said, fuck space. <laughs> Rolly said, fuck space, bitch. I'm trying to catch this fade with your ass. And that's that on that. Now, <laughs> the way Rolly was beating Diamond in the back of her head with them big ass ham hawks that she called fist, I know Diamond had a damn uh, concussion. Because, child, the way Roly was beating you in the back of your head, it's like she was like, it's clobbering time. It's clobbering time. <laughs> <laughs> but, Diamond was hitting Roly in the front. Roly was hitting Diamond in the back. I said, all right now. Okay. But, the beef didn't last long because after they got done fighting, and you know, you know, Diamond the Body, she ready to go. She will fight for hours if she has to, okay? But Roly don't have that type of time because Roly already out of breath. She's looking for her inhaler. Like, she's like, girl. <sighs> I said, girl, sit down and get you some water. But they get to talking, and Roly explains why she smokes with her son. I guess that Diamond um, brought that up and it's like, go smoke with your son, blah, 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 like talk of shit. And Roly explains why she smokes with her son. She says that she'd rather her son come smoke with her or come buy weed from her because these this, this weed out here, this shit be lace, okay? And I, I know a couple people that done smoked the wrong shit and now they on the corner tweaking and doing dance moves because they don't remember who they are. So, she explains, like, yeah, I'd rather my son come get this from me. I'd rather my son sit and smoke with me than smoke with people that don't really fuck with him like that. Because it's dangerous out here. After things get laid out on the table, they hug it out. I'm like, yes, this is gross. Because we know when Roly looked like Michael Myers, she was on demon time, okay? So, for her and Diamond the Body to kiss it out and hug it, I, I respect that. And for the fact that Diamond actually apologized to Roly's son, I really respect Diamond for that. Like, Diamond has grown on me so much. But the thing, I don't know if y'all caught this, but <laughs> Tinker Bella said, yeah, and tell, her, and tell her son, yeah, your mama beat my ass. <laughs> Tink, please. Okay, so the new girls, the fresh meat, they pull up to the restaurant with all the rest of the girls. They walk in, and we see that Bad Dolly has some issues with Anna Mac. Now, they get to talking, and the reason why Bad Dolly is mad is because uh, she thought that uh, Anna Mac ain't want to get her no ticket or something like that. Girl, why is you bringing it up when you already here? Like, wh what's the what's the point? Now, Bad Dolly and Anna Mac, they end up clearing the air. While they're arguing, here comes Natalie. Let me find. Here comes Natalie. Batty, batty, shot a clock. Yes. That's what I'm, yes. Summer No Other comes in, a.k.a. Gucci Mane. She comes in with her little raspy, dry-ass voice, and she ends up sneaking on her and folding her little ass like a pretzel behind the recliner in between the glass window. I said, Anna, get up. Get up. Get up. Oh, Anna got up, though. Anna got up, and when that second round came around, Anna ended up on top. Gucci Mane got up. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Gucci Mane got up and was missing hella bundles. I mean, Anna walked away with her wig in her hand and the rest of uh, Gucci Mane bundles. And Gucci Man was walking around looking like Cynthia from Rugrats. I said, you still want to tumble? You still want to tumble, Gucci? Stewie, a.k.a. Jaden Alexis, she tells Summer, like, girl, you need to go ahead and pipe down because you already caught your face with Anna. Y'all already went round for round, and she ended up taking 85% uh, of your bundles off your wig cap. And you're sitting here, like, looking stupid. Like, you keep on going on and on and on. When you just basically lost. Like, <laughs> this, like, something in this girl head is just not clicking. In her mind, one plus one equals seven. Now, this is what's funny. Anna is telling, like, um, Summer, she's like, I don't know why you're mad at me for jumping in for you sneaking Mariah. I tell y'all bitches all the time, I jump. I don't give a fuck. If my bitch is getting snuck or if my bitch is fighting, I'm jumping in. <laughs> I said, Anna. We know. We know. Okay. Now, Summer is still talking. Okay? And at this point, Natalie is over this crustacean. She's over this lobster tail. She's done. She lifts up her cup again. Batty, batty, shot a clock. I said, Natalie, motherfucking crimson chin, none. Put that cup down. That's not going to solve all y'all problems. That's the reason y'all fighting now. Now, after all of the hooping and the hollering, DTB stands up and is like, where's my chain? <laughs> I said, I know. We ain't talking about another chain for another season. Give her the chain and let it be over with. She being deserved that chain. Give it to her, let it be over with. I'm tired of hearing about chains. I'm sick of it, okay? I'm sick of it. And I don't know if y'all caught this. <laughs> I don't know if y'all caught this, but Biggie was like, and give her her tooth, my nigga. Give her her tooth back, my nigga. <laughs> Biggie, if you don't shut the hell up, why you gonna bring up something that's embarrassing as her tooth? But Natalie, you do need to give her her tooth back because, girl, why is you holding on to it like you about to rob the tooth fairy with that damn tooth, girl? So, the newbies that get in their sprinter, they're turned, okay? And the OG is getting their sprinter. And Anna is pissed off at Biggie. She's like, girl, I slide for you every single time. You never slide for me. Nothing has been slid from your way. Okay, you have never slid for me. But I always slide for you. And you know what? I might not like that jumping shit. But Anna is right. She always slides for Biggie. Biggie always getting her big ass whooped. And Anna always got to come in. Little bitty Anna always got to come in and, and throw some licks to help big ass Biggie. So the new girls are in their sprinter in summer. Still talking. Okay, she's like, anybody can get it. Anybody can catch these hands. Anybody can get whooped. Ivory turns around and is like, who, bitch? Who? Put a name on it because I feel like you talk about anybody in this car. Like, put a name on it. I don't like the way you talking. Y'all know how big Ivory is. Gucci man back there. Talk about some, anybody can get it. I, I, I'm talking about anybody. I'm here. Anybody can get it. Yeah. Burr. And Ivory said, bitch, I said put a name on it. You about to catch these hands. She caught the hands. <laughs> this the second time I read them beat up somebody in a seat. If y'all know what I'm talking about, go to my last video. Y'all see what I'm talking about. Okay. Ivory pulled uh, Gucci Mane by her ankles and pulled her into her fist. I said, damn, I ain't never seen that shit. That's a mother. That's a combo move. <laughs> That's a combo move. X over over box square up R2. Oh, the girls in the Sprinter van, they're telling uh, Gucci Mane, they're telling Summer, and they're like, girl, you got your ass beat, just let this shit go. Like, you got your ass whoop, let it go. She start popping off at Lord Farquaad. And you're like, who is Lord Farquaad, Emma? She started going off on Lord Farquaad, and Lord Farquaad said, who you talking to? <laughs> I say, damn, Gucci Mane making her rounds today. Man, Lord Farquaad let off some rounds into Gucci Mane neck. 
face, shoulders, head, knees, and toes. I said, God. Now, summer is the type of bitch that's so delusional. Like, you could be literally mid whooping that ass. I mean, like, it's clobbering time. You could be mid whooping ass, and she will sit there and look at you and say, You're not doing anything. I mean, smack, pop, snap, crack, pop. You still ain't doing shit. I cannot stand people like that. That's the type of shit that you see in your dreams where you think you giving somebody the business and they're just sitting there taking that shit laughing. That's the type of special that this bitch is. I told you one plus one equals seven in this whole mind. As Lord Farquaad is whooping Gucci Mane, Ivory is literally, I see her leg. I see her stomping in her Air Force Ones. <laughs> Security. Security, what is y'all doing? We're back to the OG bus and Anna is pissed off because none of the bitches that she loves, that she claims that she's cool with, that she loved that they, they her bitches, they didn't stop the fight. She said she was done fighting and nobody stepped in and tried to stop it. And she's also, like I said, mad at Biggie for not helping. And Biggie was like, what do you want me to do? You were already winning. Like, what do you want me to do? You want me to step in there and, 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 and help you beat her some more when you're already winning? Biggie. That's what she wanted. That's your bitch. That's 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 tu prima. You should know that's what she wanted. Now I do agree with Biggie. Like, baby, if you already winning, what you want me to do? Like, you wanted us to do like extra damage. Like, you wanted us to like put this bitch in a wheelchair. Like, you already winning. Now we get back to the ratchet bus, and Ivory calls out Big Legs. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm talking about myself, child. But she get to arguing with Big Legs. Big Legs is so fine. Do you hear me? As Big Lex is defending herself and basically bucking back at Ivory, like, bitch, what, what's up? Like, why are you coming at me for basically nothing? Paula, <laughs> pretty P, that, that's Paula. Paula gets up and starts swinging on Big Lex. Paula, if you don't sit your pug face ass down, that was not your fight. And Paula said that she did that because she ain't like the way that uh, Big Liz was talking. Girl, this wasn't your fight. Now, when she get off this bus and beat your motherfucking ass, <laughs> I don't want to hear nothing. Okay? Now, I am so over these hoes fighting on this bus. I'm getting claustrophobic. It's too many fights in a, in two little spaces. Okay? Now, Gucci Mane, a.k.a. the Bride of Chuggy, because that's what this Party City wig is giving. She's back there. She's still talking. Still talking. And she ended up getting into it with Yoshi from Mario and Jasmine Renee, the girl with the pink wig. I said, damn. Not you done caught four fades on this little ass bus. <laughs> Girl, you ain't tired. You ain't tired, Miss Healy. <laughs> Jasmine is getting into it with uh, Gucci Mane, and she ends up throwing water, and some of it touched Ivory. Child, she said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't mean to, girl. I would have said I'm sorry, too, because thick neck. <laughs> uh, do not play. Ivory, do not play. But Ivory was chuckling. She thought that was funny. I, I would apologize, too, because, baby, you were about to get me. <laughs> the way she yoked up uh, Gucci Mane by her ankles. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. <laughs> Summer is in the house looking like Lil Bill, and she looked about shell as hell in that mirror, talking to herself. I said, girl, girl, this one right here, you got to look out for her because all her marbles is loose and rolling around in that head. All her marbles is loose. Now, they pull up to the baddest house. And it's low-key giving a baddie's cottage. It's it's giving Miss Honey from Matilda. It, it, it look a little small in the front, but it's probably bigger in the back. Okay. Now, once they get there, Ivory get off the bus. And it's squaring up with be Lex. So I said, let's get it. Let's get it, Lex. You better not let me down. Because you's a Lex and I'm a Lex. You better not let me down. Big Lex end up leaking. And it's because Ivory popped her in her, um, in her nose ring. So her shit started leaking. But I think that was a little even fight, even though she was leaking, because in the next episode, Ivory is actually holding a paper towel up to her lip because her lip is bleeding. You know she got that little piercing right there. I'm guessing Big Lex clocked on the lip. 
Okay? I liked that little fight. I did. I liked it. I was like, okay. Okay. But, you know, as much as I want to root for Big Lex because her name is Big Lex, y'all know I love me some ivory. You know I love me some thick neck. You know I love me some thick neck. Okay. Gucci Mane and Jasmine Renee get the fight in. Then the episode go off. <laughs> I said... As much as Gucci Mane need a call drop and I can't stand her ass, she keep going. She keep going. And I, I kind of respect that, but at the same time, I'm like, girl, just sit down. Drink some water and be good. Whoo, Chad. Anyway, tell me what y'all think about this episode of Baddies Midwest Episode Threats, okay? Tell me what y'all think in the comments. Like and subscribe. It's your girl, Lex, to real. And we about this thing. Let's watch some crazy stuff, yo.